Now you're going to die. development on Modern Warfare 3, one of the first things we did was we took a look back at Modern Warfare 2. We realized we had made the game for one type of player, the player with the high kill count, low death. And that was really the only type of player that was getting rewarded. So what we wanted to do was offer the same kind of reward system for every type of player. So the three different strike packages that we have are Assault, Support, and Specialist. And they all work in a very different manner and are geared towards a very different type of player. What we previously called the kill streak system is now it's a point streak system. So kills are not the only way to move your point streaks forward. Every strike package takes advantage of this, and it basically means things like capturing flags, taking domination points, even assists if you use a certain perk count towards moving your point streaks forward. If you're the big body count type of guy from Modern Warfare 2, you're gonna love the Assault Strike Pack. Predator missiles, sentry gun, assault drones. If you're a team-focused individual, the Support Strike Package is for you. So the Support Package works significantly different than the Assault Package. The main difference that you'll notice right away is that your streaks don't reset on death. So I can get a kill, capture the flag, capture an HQ, it all moves it up. When I die, it doesn't reset. Now, the kill streaks that I unlock are definitely of a different order than they are in the Assault Strike package. They're more support oriented. Things like UAV Jammer, UAV Recon standing by. Advanced UAV, Recon Drone. Sentry guns are great, right? Especially in team modes like Capture the Flag. You throw a sentry turret up near a flag point, I can just lay waste. So the third strike package we have is called the Specialist Package. Now this one is really interesting. So you start your character with three perks. When you get your first two kills, you'll unlock a fourth perk. Two more kills, you unlock a fifth perk. You unlock new perks every two kills. So at eight kills, you have every perk in the game. When we were designing this, it felt like a fighting game where you have that little bar at the bottom corner that sort of fills up as you get hits and you use it and become more powerful. The thing you'll find when you start unlocking these perks is that you become super powered as a soldier and not relying on an AI helicopter or whatever to get kills. Your character basically becomes the super weapon. It's more balanced than it's ever been before, more focused on you as an individual player and your style of individual play. So it's something for everyone based off of your gameplay style, really tailored to how you like to play multiplayer. The second big pillar of Elite is Compete, a new way to interact with multiplayer competition within Call of Duty. The Compete feature of Call of Duty Elite is really the section where all players can battle against one another for prizes and glory. People were already organizing their own types of competitions. We really needed to give people a place to show off and a place to really legitimize and keep track of. Kill confirmed. Compete is a place where you can play the video game just the way that you played it but now you can focus it on a particular stat or a particular game mode and win a prize and a badge and really have some bragging rights now in the community. Compete allows all users on the service to compete in operations and events. Operations are more skill-based contests, and depending on how many of a particular stat you got for that operation, you'll be able to win prizes and badges that you can then show off on Call of Duty Elite. And Lone Wolf operations are based around players competing for a given amount of time in a specific game mode in which they'll receive a badge or a prize if they place high enough. 
third component is this idea of clan operations. This feature allows a clan of up to 100 players can come together and try to earn prizes. The other part of Compete is events. Sweepstakes, where anybody can enter and randomly win. Events are a little bit more creativity oriented, so maybe you're not the best player, but you're really good at doing hilarious stuff in the game and capturing it on film. That's the kind of event that you could enter your stuff into and win. The most appealing thing about Compete is definitely the pricing. And I have to say, these prizes are really cool. I mean, this is good stuff. And so just being able to not only get that prize, but compete with your friends is going to be so fun for consumers. Compete lets you take all of those claims, and it makes it legit and official. It highlights my play style and gives me something to hang my hat on. So for a lot of people, bragging rights are important, and Compete is going to help with that. It's going to be a really great opportunity for players to not only show off how good they are, both on the controller and behind the camera, and also gives them a little resume for you know, their Call of Duty Elite career. Thank you.